it's going to be very exciting and people are going to be shocked and um, people are going to be uh, uh, agitated by this movie uh, in a way that I think they're probably not expecting. And that, to me, makes a great sequel. The whole last movie was a study in trauma. What happens to somebody 40 years later? How does that trauma carry? Here you have an entire town of people that has been traumatized, and we're gonna meet them in the new movie. Anthony Michael Hall has just come in, and you know, he has the toughest role because he's the one that really charges the whole movie with its mission, which is to gather the people and to go after Michael Myers when he hears what happened to Lori. Well, you know, that little boy that Lori walked down the street with, he has grown up and he's the real sort of center, centrifuge in the middle of the movie. And he's fantastic, very powerful. One of the things that is deeply explored in this movie is was it really Laurie Strode? Or was it something else? We think it's Laurie Strode because she was the point of his attachment. She was the fulcrum of his obsession and everything around her became targets. What this movie explores is that may not be true. That there may be something deeper in him than just an obsession with me. And that's an interesting place to go. It's a maelstrom. It's a cyclone of violence and anger and fear and mob mentality and it's intense. It's really intense. To all of the people that love these movies, happy Halloween.